Hello from Slovenia again. Probably you are asking yourself what is all this on the table. Today I will show you how I use acrylic skins. Skins are, you know, when you do dips and this is what it's left on my plastic, you know, and it's all dry. Um, I did some video, live video about that, but I will try to explain once more. When you have those skins, you know, um, whatever you do, you can use them for almost anything. You can glue them again on the canvas, what I will show you today. Uh, I glue this glued, this one on this wooden, you know, thing and put epoxy resin on top. It's not perfect. Had to add uh, one more, but it's, you know, like you would do a painting. Um, while back I glued one on the tile and then glued tile on the wood and it's um, resin too so you can you know have it whatever you want so because it's a deep wood uh, you can glue it on the vase or whatever uh, object that you want and I put resin on top so it's washable I still need to do my edge but you can see you can glue it on flower pot you see and you have your own flower pots with your design this is uh, one thing that you can use them for too I glued one on this rock that you can have for uh, this was on the glove or balloon or whatever, I, I don't remember anymore for, you know, what is the word to weight your papers down or whatever. And you can use them for, 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 for jewelry too, so when you have those skins, you know, sometimes they look, I will probably use this one, I will just cut it out because it's a nice flowery shape, but those who are not so nice, oh, and I use this um, glue for, for jewelry for this to glue the cabochons on so I will just take you a little closer now so I will use this um, this one I think and I will try to find the place that I like the pattern that I like Don't like the middle. Maybe not this one. Let's see. this part 
here. But I like the flower too, so maybe I will use this flower too. Let's try to find something nice here. Okay, this will do probably. You basically just find the um, the place that you like. Okay, and now I will add some glue because this one is transparent. I clean them before with um, alcohol so press down okay and this one oops This glue dries clear, so, you know, just make sure. Let's do it right here. Press down hard that it will. glue down okay and I will put this aside leave it to dry Hop. and now to the canvas okay have to do this first I will remove those uh, and first of all I will peel it off and what I do I just stretch it a little bit or how can I say and it should go off real easy really easy you have to be a little careful you know not to okay so whoops Easy like that. Okay, should be you try to think. Okay think that it's okay like that probably it's I will put it a little more in the middle depends if you want to have your sides covered too and as you can see it's quite flexible so you can that's why you can glue it on uh, 3D objects too because they are flexible you see don't do this too much you have to do this with the filling you know but obviously you can it's 
stretch them a little bit. So I will put a little of this glue, Elmer's glue all you can use every PVA glue or even a binder or something and I will not do the sides I will do the sides with um, uh, I will just paint them with white after this will be done because it's hard to get a nice corner with the skin but you can still you can do it you know I will try to show you how but first I will just put some even layer maybe I even <clears throat> added too much glue that I don't need as much <laughs> okay And my skin. You you try to glue it down like you don't have an, a lot of um, air bubbles underneath. Let's see. I will do one. Then you <clears throat> stretch this you have you know some time before I just have to grab a paper towel it's um, similar as decoupage technique or how can I say you just have to push your air out you know I definitely added too much glue this time I don't know why I add so much so much glue but it will be okay I think if you see some imperfections when you will I normally use um, resin on top with those because you know you can hide some imperfections with adding resin on top. Okay, and now I will turn it around. And here is the part when you decide if you want your sides to or you just cut this with your knife, you know. Okay, I will not do the sides as I said, so I will grab my... <coughs> knife oops hope that I didn't have a glue and I will just try 
try to cut it as nice as I can. This part can be a little tricky. But as I said, you can fix all this with adding some resin on top. Duke. Just do that and when you will paint your sides and put the resin on top it will look just perfect. Okay. you see some now you just can pinch it but as I said when you put the resin on top it will cover all that kind of imperfections okay and I have another canvas that it, this was a dip from this one. So I will basically have two of them. Oop. You see, it is a little smaller than this one. I don't know how. I think that they, is, they are the same canvases, but obviously not. So when this one will be dry, I will put some resin on top. And now to the cabochons. I think that they are okay now. Let me bring you closer. Okay. So I do the same. Just cut with your, what is the word for this knife? It's a sharp knife, I don't know the word have to be careful with that okay.
this one. Just carefully cut this around. I think that it's not fully dry yet, but it will be okay. So, oop, those are my cabochons, and now I will glue this on this metal holder. I don't know what is the word. bottom part okay and another one don't need a lot of this glue you know because it will hold this perfectly And here you have it. Some cabochons for the jewelry. See? Okay. So I hope that you got some ideas what to do with your skins you definitely can you know do another painting I still see some air bubbles underneath just go once more and when it will be dry I will show you how I resin it that you will see how it will become a painting you know and when you put resin not a good one this one you see some a lot of imperfections so I will have to do it once more so I will be back then See you on the next one. Bye.